Hello, hello. Thank you for that uh, warm welcome, Jordan. Um, I didn't know that uh, he was gonna go next. I didn't know I was following such a fucking exciting man. That was great, dude. Killed it. Did you go to the barber's wife? Like, I did. yeah, I thought I'd recognize you. <laughs> didn't come to me, but well, that's fucking whatever, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was funny that Jordan called out Dayton for being in here illegally. Um, that's the second most illegal thing Jordan has ever done with a teenager. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I recently moved out of my parents' house. Uh, thanks, Dad. He's the only one who's, the only one who's excited. Uh, so, ladies. If you want to help me unpack, you know, I'd really fucking appreciate that. I got some new jokes. Um, not totally new, because last time we did stand up here, there was like a collective 11 people, three of them bartenders. Um, so the other day on, uh, on Broadway over here, they do a street fair. Every Thursday, it's a street fair. They get people to perform and do different things and I cut hair across the street, so I go to the food trucks and get food, you know, on my lunch break. And uh, so I get my food, and it was pretty fucking burnt, but I was on a time crunch, so I'm like, I'll eat it. And uh, I'm looking for a place to sit with my food, and every seat was taken because there's a bunch of fucking, like, eight-year-olds playing the fiddle. And I guess that was the hot thing that day. Everyone was there to see it. Um, there's an old lady sitting alone, and when you look like this, you don't want to just approach people when they're by themselves. After that Dahmer series came out, it's just not a good idea. Um, so she got up and I fucking, in, boom, took her seat. So I'm sitting front row for the eight-year-olds playing fiddle. And I look like this, you know, mustache and all. So it's not a great look, but I'm, you know, I gotta fucking wrap it up, so I'm eating. And, uh, these little kids start ripping this song, and I look, um, front row is all I see are the kids, and then in my peripheral, I see like a mom. So I'm eating my chicken sandwich, I'm like, this shit's kind of burnt, but I can you know, eat, I'll figure it out. And I see my peripheral, I see a mom standing there like this. I'm like, it's not that good. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's average, you know? Just give me a week with the fiddle, I'll figure it out. And she's just standing, heart, hand over her heart, just enamored. Okay. Chicken sandwich still burnt, so at least someone here is happy, you know? And then I, I kind of looked around to see if anyone else was so stoked. Everyone was stoked because these kids were playing our nation's anthem. And I'm front row, <laughs> seated, eating a chicken sandwich, unimpressed. <laughs> and I was like, man, it's halfway through, and I don't know if I stand up and, like, you know, brush my hands off. I'm like, yeah, I'm just fucking, <laughs> I'm a patriot. So I doubled down, and I just stayed seated the whole time. I'm like, yeah, America's okay, you know? And then uh, the next song they played was uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And it took every fucking fiber of my being to not stand up and put my hand on my heart. <laughs> that little star fucking twinkled so good. Um, I had this idea for like, when, like Jordan had mentioned, I'm a barber. And there's something real weird about when you sit in a barber's chair, you just start, you know, telling people your life story. Uh, last week, I kid you not, I saved a marriage and convinced a guy to not quit his job on a 35-minute whim. I'm like, eh, fucking, it's probably worth staying. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I have an idea for a thing where it's, uh, forgive me, barber, for I have sinned. <laughs> Jordan's going to actually have to do this next time I cut his hair. It's going to be like, uh, I uh, lined up my beard by myself twice. I went to Great Clips, I was speeding, and I cheated on my wife. And I'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. easy. Twice? You line up your beard twice? <laughs> um, I think it's pretty fucked up that, like, you know, the girls got Barbie, and I'm going to generalize real good right here. The girls got Barbie, the guys got Oppenheimer. The girls got to dress up, the guys did not. 
I want to dress up when I go to a movie. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to go to Oppenheimer and I'm going to dress up. So I wore, you know, like 30s era clothing and I got my glass shield on and a bomb detonator in my hand and I walk into the Grand Theaters and I was escorted out by police. <laughs> um, I started working out recently and uh, thank you, Matt. <laughs> Um, so I started working out and I saw this guy in the gym wearing a polo and I've been irrationally mad before but this was like I don't know if it was a, the testosterone because I'm working out but I was fucking pissed you can literally the dead like the, the bare minimum for gym attire is like yeah this is my 7th grade gym shirt and I ripped the sleeves off and it's kind of a crop top you can wear that to the gym why the fuck are you wearing a polo like, I'm waiting for this guy to be my fucking football coach or some shit and come up to me and start correcting my form, you know what I mean? <laughs> Tell me we can win state if I fucking bench better, you know? Some stupid shit like that. Just dress like a slob, like everyone else, you know? Um, the other day, I, I felt like a pretty good person because I asked my friend um, if I can put him in a group chat. And I, I think that should be more uh, etiquette, like consensual group chat adding. Because um, there's nothing worse than being added to a group chat and then immediately leaving. So it's like Cole Pick has been invited to the chat. Cole Pick has left the chat. And then every message after that is Cole Pick's a cunt. You know, it's like, <laughs> if you put me in that spot and I had to fucking be the bad guy. Um, I'm going to a concert tomorrow. I'm going to the Arctic Monkeys. They're like a, a UK rock group. They're kind of like uh, if Panic at the Disco is like kind of British, I guess is the best way to put it. Basically meaning the whole crowd is going to be gay guys and teenage girls. So hopefully I get laid. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding guys, guys. I'm not gay. <laughs> um, let's see what else I got. That's a tough one to bounce back from. Um, uh, like I said, I got my own place. Before I had my own place, I lived with my parents and uh, in their neighborhood there was a sign um, that the neighbors had put up. It said, caution, slow children at play. Why, that's fucked up. You're just gonna put your kid out there like that. Like, I don't know if I'm looking for like a, a mentally disabled person or just a fat kid, but like you really just outed your kid like that. And I'm like kind of thinking about this and I'm like, maybe the sign should say, caution, insensitive parents live here, you know, or something along those lines. But then I realized that they only put that sign up after I moved in. So then I was really appreciative that no one ran me over when I was walking the block. You know? <laughs> All right, I'll call it there. I'm Cole Pick. Thank you.